Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'll be showing you the performance and characteristics of my RX 560 graphics card. So today I'm mining Ethereum with it and I'm getting 15.25 mega hashes. So this is quite a significant uh, performance increase over your regular um, performance with an RX 560. Typically a lot of you guys might have experienced maybe getting 10 or 11 mega hashes. If you're using overclocking, you might be able to get your graphics cards up to around about 12 mega hashes. But in this video, I'm just showing you the settings that I'm gonna be using to get this graphics card to 15.25 mega hashes. So one thing I will say is that before you can get to these results, you will first need to do a BIOS mod on your graphics card. If you don't do the BIOS mod, the best you can achieve is probably about 12 mega hashes. So if you haven't done the BIOS mod already, please go back and check out my RX 560 BIOS mod video. In that, I'll show you how to do that very simply and that can kind of unlock the best potential from your graphics card. So assuming you've done the BIOS mod, the next part is um, overclocking to get the, the very best from your graphics card itself. So let's take a look at uh, a few of the components. So we've got the Claymore's dual Ethereum miner running and I'm currently running it in Ethereum only mode. You can also dual mine with it, but just for um, simplicity and clarity, I'm used using it in Ethereum only mode. You can see on the left hand side, GPU zero, 15.24, uh, 15.25. You can see you get a little bit of variation there as well. So also in this machine, I also have a RX uh, 570 and that is GPU one. So let's take a look at MSI Afterburner. Now to unlock these uh, additional overclocking settings, you will, might have to uh, enable the option in the MSI Afterburner, or you can also use um, Sapphire Tricks as well. But you, if you go to the settings option, if you scroll down, you should see this extend official overclocking limits, and you need to select that, and you might also need to reboot your machine to get that settings um, to apply. Once you've extended the official overclocking limits, you'll have a bit more room to work with in terms of overclocking. So you can see the core speed is set to 1300. Uh, for most of these graphics cards, uh, that is the standard clock speed or the boost clock speed. So you wanna set your core clock at 1300 and your memory clock, you wanna set that to 2200. So these are the clock speeds that we are using. Like I say, you're gonna to have to uh, unlock that official overclocking limit to get this. Um, otherwise, you'd only be able to take your GP up to 2200. Do some testing with your um, clock speeds. I prefer to set the memory clock kind of as high as it will go and then tune the core clock afterwards. So I did test up to 2250, uh, but that would often cause uh, crashes. So I come back down a little bit. So you guys might get the same sort of results. Also on the core clock, um, you could take it higher up to about 4 1400. That's quite high again. You might find that your system becomes um, unstable or unresponsive. In that case, just reboot your machine if need be. You can also go down sort of um, 1100 or 1200 if you want to get slightly better uh, performance to uh, power ratio, but I think these are pretty good settings for most users. They're quite high overclocks, um, but so just keep an eye on your temperatures and everything as well. I've got the case open, so fans are running quite well, and um, there's no issues on the temperature for this particular machine, but keep an eye on those other settings. Uh, taking a look, quick look at GPU-Z, just to show you the results there. So we've got the GPU clock as it's currently set, and also the overclock on the memory as it is currently set. And these are the default clocks. Like I say, 1300 is the default and 1750 is uh, the default uh, for this uh, memory when in normal use, sorry. Uh, also to make note of the memory type, I've got micron memory in this uh, GPU. So if you have a different type of memory, you might not be able to get the same uh, results as what I'm getting. If we take a look at sensors, we can see the GPU power usage. So it's roughly around about, six, we'll call it 65 watts. So that is, um, it's not a super accurate way to measure your performance or the power usage, but it's a pretty good indicator. There's always the best to use like a watt meter um, at the wall, but this is a good um, indicator to give you a good uh, uh, basic idea of what you're using. So 15.25 mega hashes at 65 watts is um, very, very good performance. Also considering when I purchased these graphics cards, um, there was about 125 pounds. Uh, they're up a little bit more than that now. I think you can get them for around about 160. So a little bit more than what I paid for them, but even at that price, um, after this bias mod and overclocking, 
that's a very good performance ratio and it's not like the graphics card is using you know more power or it's going to cost you more in, in terms of capital for your original alley this is a very good solid all-round card for and basically ticks all the boxes you're going to get great performance great power usage and your uh, cost to purchase the card is also very low so it, like I say it ticks all the boxes um, really good performance with this I'm, I'm very pleased with it so that's it for this video I just wanted to share with you the results that I was getting and how I was achieving those like I say you will need to do that bias mod first otherwise the best you're going to get is about 12 mega hashes so consider that first uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description one other point is I am using the blockchain drivers, so I think most of you guys probably would also be using those, but if not, just make sure you're using those as well. So that's it for this video. I just wanted a short, focused video about these uh, results. So I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions or comments, uh, put those in the comments area below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.